afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Colorado Rockies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers look for the series sweep at home against their division rivals. First pitch is next. Alex Wood will be on the mound for game four. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, you'll find a picture of this guy. Career ERA just under 3.5, and that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher, controls the running game, controls the strike zone, and more importantly, he knows how to get deep into the 6th, 7th, and 8th inning. Solid pitcher, and he'll be fun to watch in this one here today. J.J. Blade is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Dero Danny, this L.A. Dodger ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty well. And there's one down now. Not the center fielder. Tyler. Sliding into the box, Tyler Naquin. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Wood has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense at one of the keys. He's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind it because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. To the plate now, Colton Welker. Little chopper back to the mound. There's one. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. Adam Wainwright gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that has 99 career losses. The one thing I'm certain that he doesn't want to do is pick up career loss number 100 in this one here today. So it's going to be awfully important. One, that his team scores him some runs. And two, he shuts down the opponent early. These Rockies guys, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Matty, this isn't the greatest way to finish off a week. And Dero, one thing they'd love to do is win this Sunday finale and get out of here avoiding the sweep. Yeah, Dan, it's been a tough start to the weekend without question. But maybe if they steal this one Sunday, get a little reprieve, get the media off their back. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Hit hard towards center, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Popped him up. Carpenter over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting four. The right fielder, Cody. Next will be the Bellinger. cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. Power a big part of his game as he enters this contest, number five in the National League home run race. Pitches a cold strike, the throw, not in time. He's in there at second. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Two out here and a runner at second. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Swing.
swung on and missed one and two now. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. Runner takes the turn at second on his way to third. And he's in safely to third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. That is good. And the pitcher was this close to getting out of the inning and leaving that runner stranded. But the guy standing on third had other ideas, driving in the first run of the game. Here's Jock Peterson now as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. It's a run on two hits, one left. One inning in the books here. It's the Dodgers one, and the Rockies nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Trevor Story. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. What a terrific month this guy had last month. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Back goes Peterson on the warning track. He makes the catch. That is it. The first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Digging in, Jesus Aguilar, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always nice to win a series, but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, d roll Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. That was swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. So now to the plate, Daniel Haston. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And they were able to put up double digits in the runs column yesterday, so a similar performance from the lineup would give them a good chance, at least, at a series sweep. Listen, it's hard in this day and age with all the quality pitching to put up double-digit runs like they did yesterday. They'd certainly like to have some of those back if they could and add them to today's box score. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. And he lays off again, ball 3. Strike 2 as the fastball is let go. Count is full, 3 and 2. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. That is seven. The third base, runner, number 13. Matt. Digging in Carpenter. now will be Matt Carpenter. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hard hit ball to second. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Rockies strand one. They still trail one nothing. Here's Corey Seager. Leading up for the Dodgers. Not your stop. Corey Seager.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. With runners in scoring position this season, Muncy is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. You try to bust him in, d and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The knock's a knock. Will Smith is next as he finds himself behind 0-1 from the belt. Kicks and deals. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. So runners at first and second here with one away. And that left-handed pitcher who bats right, Alex Wood, will hit next. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And this is scooped away and stays foul. So now the question becomes what to do with two strikes. A square to bun and it's popped up. That's a foul ball. Not a great at bat and he's down on strikes for route number one. Ready for another chance. Chris Taylor 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Taylor playing here in his age 29 season. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey nothing has been handled to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Here's the 2 0. He's not having his best outing in this one. And I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. The 3 and 1 pitch. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Dodgers strand a couple. We play two innings, it's 1 to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and next to hit is the catcher, Tony Walters. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Ball one. I got one ball, one strike. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. The second for one, on to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Ah, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. 
In now, J.J. Bladé. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Peterson. Still going back. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Fourth home run for him on the season. And the Rockies have now taken a 2-1 to one lead. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. Up next for Colorado. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Line towards center field. Peterson is there. Two gone. Now batting. The left fielder. Now batting Colton Welker. Welker. First pitch coming. Here it is. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. But the Rockies push across two. Both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-1 to one Colorado. Welcome back as the Dodgers prepare for their third turn batting in this one and fans of the boys in blue have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day among the league leaders in both home runs and runs scored so it's no secret what a threat they present to opposing pitching staffs. As one player told me earlier we've got a stacked lineup so as long as we all show up to swing it every day we're going to cause a lot of problems for the other guys. It's a fun group of guys to hit with. Matt back to you. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the Dodgers. Ready to go for the last the half of the inning, and Number that'll bring three. in the second baseman, Garrett Hampson. And he'll look Number at a first one. pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. But facing right handed pitching so far this season, Hampson is a batting line residing in the 230s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Pitch popped up. And he'll put this away for the second out. The bat, the right fielder, Cody Bellinger. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. Wainwright gets the sign. Here's the 2 1. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The 3 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Our score remains two to one. set for the start of the inning and in to hit next shortstop Trevor Story. Trevor 
scoring. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. drive and that's a base hit into center field so that puts the Rockies leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning so a base hit for him has him aboard to start out their half of the fourth as we take a look at the league leader board in hits and as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department stepping in now Jesus Aguilar as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one he's 0 for 1 thus far Runner goes for second. That's a strike to throw down. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a back. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel. Good about that. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Count even at two and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, two gone. Now that well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it first pitch on its way now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center Bellinger's on his horse he tracks it down and that will end the inning Rockies are down quietly as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Now in the box, Jock Peterson he sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Back on the hill is Wainwright now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man, nothing and one. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. Peterson is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. On a line, that's a base hit. Boy, that's something you see often in batting practice. Guys using the whole field there, d -Row. I like to see that a lefty that's just not always pull happy. 100% Dan the pitchers have gotten so much nastier in today's game that if you're not willing to play with the entire field you're going to struggle the 0 1 pitch one and one. one and two now Peterson gets his lead at first nobody out two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Bouncer up the middle. Scorey picks it up. One there, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now batting. The first baseman. Max Muncy. Next up is Max Muncy. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed his own. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. 
So the runner stays at first here with two away, and that brings us to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both guys showing good but not great fastballs. 92 for one, 91 for the other. Will Smith will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. This pitch is popped up. Story waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers leave one. They're down 2 1. Digging in for his second at bat, Matt Carpenter comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Pulled toward right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Into the box now, Adam Wainwright. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. This one's down to third. Glove by Taylor. And there's out number two. Up next for Colorado. The right field. So striding in, J.J. Blade comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. One ball, one strike. Nope. Count is two and one. Looks like a ball to me. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson has a read on it, and that retires the side. One left for Colorado. They still lead it two to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said there is nothing prettier than frozen rope after frozen rope, and that is exactly what he's getting right now. The data says they've hit eight line drives as a team in this one, some resulting in outs, but obviously that's a good sign for them going forward. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Alex Wood is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a ground ball to third. And there's one away. Third baseman, number three. Fred. Back to the top of the order now. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. Curveball looked at here for strike one. This year against right-handed pitching, Taylor has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ball and a strike. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole the strike. Two and one. 
One run, six hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And he's back standing. The 2 1 pitch. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3 1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. There we go. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Left fielder coming on. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Wayne Wright comes set, coming at him with the 0-1. Pitch inside the throw. It's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. A 1-2 pitch. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Up to see if he can find the field for that thing moving forward. Full count, three and two. This is line to left. Welker is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for L.A. They still trail it here, two to one. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Tyler Naquin. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Slow roller down the third baseline. Sent on the ground out to second. He's right there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now the Stepping in, Colton, Colton Welker. He comes in 0 for Welker. 2 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. And he throws the fastball oh by him God. here, 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two stone cold take right there that fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench pops this one up Hampson ranging into shallow right he tracks it down and makes the play to now record the second out Trevor Story. Into the box now, Trevor Story. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Story swings, and this ball is hammered to deep left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at mm -hmm. all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. He 
Kike Hernandez will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Kike Hernandez. Soft liner towards center. That's in there. Base hit. Story is on his way home. He'll score easily as they extend the lead a bit. It's now a three to one game. The third baseman, number 13, Matt Carpenter. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Tony Gonsolin trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Here's Matt Carpenter. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. On the year, Carpenter is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business, and maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. A pause and the 0-2 grounded to the right. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Rockies forced to settle for one. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. Rockies lead this one three to one. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now back, center fielder. Peterson. Coming to the plate now, Jock Peterson. One for two in the ball game thus far. And there's the good fastball that time from Wayne Wright as he gets ahead 0-1. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Count is one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The 1 2. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Peterson is retired. Two down now. Now that Here's Corey Seager. Corey Seager. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. Lays That's off 1-0. and oh. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Hit out towards second. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Seventh inning coming up. Rockies lead it 3-1. to one. That'll bring up Tony Walters. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Tony Walters. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Betts giving chase. He's there and records the first down. The pitcher, number 50, Adam Wainwright. Now at the plate, Adam Wainwright. He was a ground out victim last time up.
first offering on its way. Hit in the air to shallow center. Peterson comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. The bat, the right fielder, J.J. Blade. J.J. Blade will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Down the third baseline. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Three runs, seven hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. But they hang on to a three to one lead. Into the box, Max Muncy. He's one for two in the ball game. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is the left fielder, and it's gone. A solo shot here to left center field. Number 10 for him on the year. And the Dodgers are back within a run at 3 to 2 now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now batting, Hector. At the plate now, Will Smith. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And he's way off balance with the swing there. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. The 0-2 once more. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Justin Turner will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 10. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. His career line against Wainwright, he's gone three for eight. A softly hit ball here, foul off to the left side, and it's strike two now. Bases are empty, one man out. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Chris Taylor is in with two away as he takes a ball. 1-0. Wainwright looks in. Here's the pitch. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. This one's down to third. And a close play at first but he's called out and the side is retired. 
Dodgers claw back a bit on the solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Rockies three and the Dodgers two. Rick Trinan has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Into the box now, Tyler Naquin. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. No, that's bad. Hold high in the air out to right field. Bellinger's in pursuit, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now back at the plate, Colton Welker. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. The Dodgers are looking for the sweep in this game as we mentioned earlier but trailing by one they're going to need to come from behind to do it. This one's still well in striking distance only trailing by one going late on to the game. They just need a bloop and a blast or some kind of extra base hit. This one's far from over. The batter. The doctor, Trevor Story. Trevor Story steps in now. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Hampson has got it, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They're up three to two. At the plate, Garrett Hampson. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Another 0 2 now from Wainwright. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. They'll stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Fouled off. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Hit to third. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Here's Mookie Betts, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch coming from Wainwright. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Hit to short. Story scoops it up. Throw on to first, and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. Now back. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. 
first pitch on its way. Hits this one hard the other way. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Around second now and headed for third. And he's going to make it to third safely. And there's your tying run at third now with two away. Wow, he's getting his daily. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And that is going to do it this afternoon for Adam Wainwright. So for the time being he stands to be the winning pitcher but he is responsible for the possible tying run over at third. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left handed hitter due up. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mission accomplished that half inning for the Colorado bullpen. We played eight full. Colorado's out in front, three to two. All set to start the ninth in this one, and up next will be the power hitting first baseman, the Big first Jesus first. Aguilar. Mm -hmm. Aguilar. Now here's the pitch. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. 2 0 now. This ball is crushed. Look at it go. And gone. An absolute bomb. So a solo shot down the line in left. Sixth home run on the season for him. And it's given the Rockies a 4-2 to two lead. The bullpen is going to have to take care of business in the bottom half of this inning. But they're going to be able to throw a lot freer that they've got that extra run to play with. Insurance runs are always huge. The batter number 14, second base, PK. At the plate, PK Hernandez. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Standing in now, Matt Carpenter popped him up. Taylor is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Tony Walters. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In the dirt here, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Runner at second here with one man out. Looped out toward third, and this will be taken in by the third baseman for the second out.
Nadal will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Bounce towards the second baseman. Right to him. Throw on to Muncy. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Rocky strike for one and it comes on this solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. It's now 4-2 Colorado. Scott Ober is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Number 45. Scott Ober. Bottom of the inning now. Striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. Here's the first pitch to him. Check swing and a pop up now to the left side. Carpenter is there and he's got that all important first out here to start the ninth. And there are the final numbers for the Colorado starting pitcher. Great day's work any way you look at it. Hey, anytime you can get through seven innings, Matty B, that's really a good quality start. Into the eighth inning, wasn't able to get out of the eighth, but he's still in line for the win. Needs a little help from his guys in the bullpen now. He's two for three and looking for more here. Yeah. Strike two. Oh, a ball and two strikes now. And that's into the corner a foul ball and right. Over has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. And over that time, he's got a whip under 0.5. To translate, he's allowed less than half a runner per inning. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. So now to the plate, Will Smith. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Well, you'd credit Adam Wainwright with the victory, barring any late turnaround here. Fouled away. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. He brings it in, and the Rockies will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Four to two, the final score today. Colorado led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Adam Wainwright earns win number seven on the season. Scott Ober closes the door for the save, his 17th on the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the show nation.com Welcome to Fire Sale Gaming powered up by firesalegames.com so just shop our website firesalegames.com and get you a fire sale of a deal on some video games we also got some books DVDs CDs whatever you want firesalegames.com We're about to turn it on.